In this video, I want to talk to you about your enemies. 10 relationship tips to my younger self. And if you haven't seen the previous ones, go back and watch those and like, share, and subscribe. My name is Samuel Robinson, and this is a conversation with me and my younger self. This topic is about enemies. Your enemies can be anyone, and your enemies can be everyone. This is a spiritual matter. And I pause so that I want that part to sink in. It's a spiritual matter. People are oftentimes spiritually depleted and they are broken. Hurt people hurt people. And you need to recognize that they're not necessarily attempting to bring intentional harm to you. They're attempting to survive. They're attempting to get nourishment. And some people feel as if they should rob it from you, steal it from you to get it for themselves without your permission. Those are your enemies. And they could be the person that you put a ring on and sleeping beside. I want you to know who your enemies are and keep them close. Know their patterns and put them in the correct frame that they belong. Remember we talked about in a previous video the analogy of a tree. These are the leaves on the tree that they change based on the environment. When they're happy, they bring joy. They don't come to share any joy of their own. They're always withdrawing from you. When they see you doing well, they're not happy for you. They're clapping, hoping for a moment to take it for themselves. These are your enemies. I'll tell you a story as I end with the enemy section. The good book says you must pray for your enemies. I have a list that I keep. It has all my friends that I'm praying for, and it has my enemies that I'm praying for. I don't distinguish which one is which on that list because the being that I'm praying to doesn't care either. It's a human being. They're broken. They need help, whether it's health, mental, physical, or spiritual. It's just another individual that needs help. And you need to protect yourself. Whatever you don't want to lose, give it away. Yes, you heard me correctly. Anything that you hold very dear to you, that you elevate above your relationship with your God, you're going to lose it. Whether that be a person, a place, or a thing. So in a case where you see yourself doing that, give it away. It will be multiplied back to you and then you'll value it in the proper prioritized order. My name is Samuel Robinson. I'm supposed to take two minutes to share this with you. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't seen the previous videos, go back and watch those. Share this with somebody else. Comment. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you.